Yo, the gamers, welcome to my Scion the Diamond series, episode number one. Very different from the usual Unranked the Diamonds we do. It's have all been ADC thus far, so this is the first one, and maybe the only one that is not ADC. I don't know, we'll see how this video does. I've just been really curious to try out Scion, because uh, obviously the Baus is the first thing that comes to mind any time somebody thinks of Scion. Let's get a very unique playstyle, and I was wondering how hard would it be for somebody to just pick that playstyle up and do well with it. Uh, this isn't quite first time sound. I did play like four sound normal games the other day. All four were losses. But, uh... I mean, I was carrying two of those, in all fairness. Oh, hello, what's going on there? Can't really help. Alright, it's fine. Damn it. Anyway, uh, I was considering starting... Doran's shield here, but I was like, nah, let's do, just do call. I did call in all of my games, and they all uh, went well in pretty much all of them. We'll see if I can actually survive a ranged top lane matchup, though, without the Doran's shield. I really have to ignore that. There's n like, if I just try and help J4 there, Ken will just leave, and I'll have wasted my time. So far, she's not really hitting me much, so... Yeah, this color's working out fine for now. It's weird. Uh, facing a center top in our very first sound game. I've actually heard of it before, though. Uh, the top laner I played Clash with last week, and I won both Clashes, by the way, last weekend. Uh, they were actually thinking of playing center top. But they play a lot of weird picks. I didn't think this was actually something anybody else was doing. Is this trying to land her here? Oh, that's so bad for her. Alright, we did some damage. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so we see Kane bot side, we know. We don't really need to be afraid of him. So no need to ward at the moment. Okay, we got the approach velocity, so whenever we hit that Yon Senna, makes it very easy to close the gap on her. Just to start charging the Q from even closer, which means more damage there. We're also running... We're just running the boss's rune setup pretty much for when he plays tanks on. Running also the minion to materializer, I guess that's mainly for... Killing minions faster. I did not actually check, to be honest, how he uses his minion to materializer. I probably should have checked that. But I'm just going to use it on the cannon here. I just use it on one caster, one ca uh, cannon, and one melee. Just so they all die faster when you're in passive and you're just farming the wave before you get sent back to base. Here we go again. A lot of damage there. She's probably going to have to pop flash here. Wow, okay, well she didn't. Uh, what did I not use the materializer on yet? Melee. We can probably also go for a plating here. Just because we got the... Demolish. Oh, that didn't... Oh, right, we're playing top lane, so I can't actually do damage to turrets before five minutes. That is so weird. I'm not used to playing a lane where that is the case. Right, we're gonna rush the Swifties. That's gonna make this matchup a lot easier. Notice, by the way, how I did not even start a potion. I actually, I think I might have started a potion in my first Sion game. In those normals, then I realized, you know what? Actually, like, Sion has a decent win rate, just not starting with potions. And I guess the reason for that is that even if your matchup starts to go bad, it's really easy to, just, like, <laughs> you know, Sion doesn't mind dying, right? So, if your matchup is going bad, it's like, okay, well, I guess I'll just die and kill the wave and... Uh, you literally just get more farm that way than just letting yourself get zoned from CS. So rather than trying to maintain yourself in the lane with potions, it's actually completely viable to just accept that you're gonna die and just get the farm. <laughs> and then if you're not losing lane, well, what do you need the potion for?
Perfect. Try going for her again now. Okay. Okay, we're not going to be able to kill her there, sadly. <clears throat> Let's turn back for the farm. That's a shame. We got the flash, though. Oh, I should have activated W sooner. All good. We still got all of the farm. Now we want to show this ASAP as well. There we go. Now this time it should be a plating. Assuming Sun isn't back in lane yet. Yeah, perfect. Let's try and greed for another wave, actually. What's the worst that could happen? I die? <laughs> I could try and help there. I'm trying to pin that ward that I saw. There it is. Nice. <laughs> Perfect timing. Alright, we can just recall. Is she gonna... Hmm. Not gonna be able to kill her for sure. That's fine, we'll just place a ward there. I got TP, so I can make sure I don't miss any farm here. Well, not much more than... Uh, not too much more compared to staying, at least. Uh, gonna be building this thing, first item. Didn't miss some farm, but that was obviously mostly as a result of the roam. I got us a kill, so that was worth it. You know, I think this is that this bomb is cinder is actually not completely mandatory on sound to rush. It does feel nice for the wave clear though. But you got pretty good wave clear without it as well. I'm just thinking, like, it might be easier to actually harass the turret if I would just not build that. Because, uh, all Sun has to do is walk near me and then I take aggro. Just gonna get another plating here, she can't stop me. In fact, you know what? She also can't stop me just proxy farming. It's so weird doing this, you never do this on bot lane. Not an option. You can also just go for the enemy golems here, I guess. She might have warded there. Oh, that wave is already here. Alright, that's fine if the melee escapes. Oh, no, 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 the melee! Ah, oh, goddammit. More than one. There we go, decent damage. So I didn't actually time or flash, I don't know if that's back up or not, which is awkward. I should really have kept track of that. Fuck it, we'll just dive her anyway. If I die here, it should be worth it, because I should be able to trade. Perfect. Shutdown. Oh, how big was the shutdown? Eh, you know what? Probably worth it just to get this plating. I think I get that, right? Oh, you can't get it while dead, apparently. Ah, oh, that blows. So you can be really far away and get the plating, but you just can't die and get the plating. Fair enough. And anyway, at least I made her miss a lot of farm there. We were uh, pretty even in farmer on the 40 CS range, but now she's really fallen behind. We could just try flanking Senna here. We're not gonna kill her at this HP, but we'll just do a little bit of damage. Yeah. 
Actually, we might kill her. She surely has flash up by now, though, I imagine. Nice. Well, that was a lot of damage, at least more than I expected to do. She, ooh, she's actually building, like, full tanks on it as well. I was gonna say, she feels tanky. Might actually just be able to get a turret here. Yep. Easy turret. Super fast as well. This demolish actually has put in a lot of work. God damn. Well, uh, I wanted to prop my grasp. Oh well. I don't know if I need to escape here. Okay. CS so permanent, really good right now, by the way. That's very important on sound. Like, it's much more... So basically, we're not dying a lot this game because there's just no need. We can get a lot of farm without dying. But the most important thing on sound is to maintain high CS per minute. That's why the boss's playstyle has so many deaths because if he's losing a matchup, he would rather die for farm than not get any farm at all. Should be able to get this turret. There we go. I could ult and force her flash, but it hardly feels worth it. To waste my ult just to get a flash. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. I could be in trouble here. Try and get out of here. That's fine. She's still coming. Oh my god, they just wanted to zone me from the farm. Maybe I should have just gone for it. My god. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I did average 8 to 9 deaths, by the way, in my sound games, but... There's just no need to die if uh, you can get farm without dying. And the games where I was super ahead in lane phase, those were the games that I just didn't die much at all, at least until later. <laughs> I'm probably gonna die here. This is not smart to do. Does she not have ult? I guess not, but then why is she here? This is the mid laner, by the way, not the support. <coughs> oh, I missed. Come on. Got her. Got her, and we got her. She's gonna have to flash. Just being greedy. Either that or she doesn't have flash, which would surprise me. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay. Yikes, okay, my bad. Okay, so we could look to start grouping soon. I've also got a lot of us, but go did I not buy items? Wait, holy crap, I didn't buy items. I was so focused with TPing back and not missing CS, I didn't think to buy. Whoops. I can probably get this turret, right? Trying to avoid getting turret aggro here. Ah, oh, crap. All good. This cane is not good, though. Nice. Hopefully we get cane here. Nice one. <laughs> I don't think I can get these, but... Ooh, I almost got one. Oh, well. Not bad. <laughs> Imagine if I'd actually spent my gold, though. Alright, so... Heart seal into Sunfire. Sunfire into Heart Seal. Doesn't matter which order you do it in, both are good. Ooh, actually, although I think maybe even better than Heart Seal though would be Iceborne Gauntlet. Forgot about that. 
Because the slow is really useful for chasing people down in sound passive. The boss doesn't do it, but I think it should be good. Third item. We can do Thorn Mail. We can do uh, Titanic Hydra. I think we're going to do Titanic Hydra here. It's really nice for Whiff Core as well. Make it, especially during your passive. We can hold on to the Yellow Trinket. I think it's the best. So getting 700 extra HP from W. So the biggest thing about sign is that you get it. If you get enough farm, it doesn't matter how much you've died. You're an absolute monster. Can one v one a lot of people and can just be a huge threat in team fights. Oh damn it! We'll go straight for misfortune, who's the easiest to kill. Oh my god, okay, there we go. Got him. Uh, okay, we won't get surfing, that's fine. Did I at least bonker? I, th I hope I did. Gotta get the max HP gains. Yes, mine. Now we're on 800 HP. I probably won't bother basing until I've got Titanic Hydra. Oh, that's a bit too many people. Nope. Yeah. This is gonna be a bad death, probably, because we actually can't really get farm here. But I'll try. I'm standing on the Morg W as well. Sucks. Okay, at least I got three farm. That would have been a much better death, though, if I could at least get the full wave. I saw this. Hmm, not really. I don't think it's worth selling just for a ruby crystal. <clears throat> <laughs> that was a lot of CC. For, I mean, to be fair, a lot of it was while I was dead, I imagine. Right, so, wait, does it count? I don't, I don't know, actually, if it counts uh, stuff that happens to you after you're dead on sound. I'm just gonna TP here. Hopefully I can get this turret pretty fast. But yeah. Um I think I would do Throne Mill if I was like behind, but when I'm ahead I can definitely do Titanic Hydra, just get more damage. Become a bigger threat. Let's try and take some camps here if we can. What? How did I go to Annie? What? She didn't even hit it. Weird. Uh, we can just get a ruby crystal and sim whatever we build, we'll build out of that. <coughs> okay, Baron is up and Drake is up, so... The first objective to fight over will be Drake, so I can join for that fight. And then I can pressure bot, so hopefully my team can maybe get a... Baron off of that pressure. Oh my god, that damage. Okay, we got a Herald bot as well. I think I'll try and convert that into an inhib. Some of my team should at least do Drake, though. Nice. Nice.
This one doesn't have a herald. I'll help out here. Okay, nice one. I'm just gonna walk away because I can't see that fight ending well. If we were to fight that. But I can go straight to top, I guess. Don't need to keep far uh, to stop farming here. I won't get that wave though. I'm nearly good old second position pretty aggressively and probably survive. Or at least wasted a lot of time. Alright, so I think the next race will be Bork. Alright, so I have not Bork, what the hell? Thornmail. I got a lot of healing. Between Kane and that Senna build, that weird Senna build. That's fine. Doesn't matter what that, what happens there. In fact, let me just go for this, I guess. We just end. Where's their team? I think we may just be about to end. <laughs> Alright, GG. That's the first game of Sound to Diamond. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Scion to Diamond. This game we are going to be playing Scion into Mazahar. God, it's so weird saying that and not saying the support as well. What the hell? Have I just denied him some XP? No, I have not. Alright, well since we're playing against the guy who's just pretty much only going to be using his E on the minions, we're just going to level W so we can just start getting those stacks a bit sooner. An open gun Q as well, because one of the Qs is going to be wasted onto a shield. It's going to be a pretty AFK farm matchup, I believe. There we go, removed. We just want to keep hitting him occasionally, oh, by the way, just to make sure his shield doesn't come back up. Oh. Damn it, I didn't want to get hit by that. Oh, good. Let's put this in the right slot. Wait, I wanted to call those Void Links. What? Also, wait, do I get... Oh, I got HP from them. Wait, this is a great matchup. All I need to do is kill those Void Links and I get extra HP. Like, the gold is minimal, but the benefit to your W is exactly the same as lost hitting a regular minion. That's so crazy. Nah, I'm kidding though, because I don't... I, like, at a certain point, we might become unkillable against Malzahar, but... It's going to be really hard to pressure this guy, and... certain point, it's going to be hard to not get poked as well. Oh, nice. Smooth loss setting there. Oh, except for that. Nice one. I'm just going to focus on shoving this wave, and then I can just base. Oh. It's fine. My W wasn't uh, in range of most of that wave. Whoops. Yeah, I mean, we are going to actually get a lot of HP from that, though. Uh, actually, I probably don't want to leave that in that state. There we go. Am I getting ganked? I didn't even see. 
Alright, so I think the best thing to rush here will be Bami Center, not the... Uh, Boots of Swiftness. Steepy here, I don't want to miss farm. I think refillable would be fine actually, but... It's just the initial 50 gold from the potion, that's a bit wasted, I think. Alright, this guy's out of mana now. At some point he's gonna have to take the L on base. You should have really saved the Z for the actual, like, bigger wave. Nice one. Okay, so far Z doesn't do much damage to me. It's not gonna do much until... Um, I guess Leandris, I guess. Ryan to trade one for one there, but it's a little bit risky. This guy just keeps taking the greatest recalls, man. <laughs> Alright, next time we're trying to dive him, I think. Okay. Now he has no flash, he's dead. Got him. And that's what we call worth. Good death. Easy. Hmm. So I think actually, you know what I'm going to test this matchup as well? Is Titanic Hydra Rush. Because all the good rush options for Sion are... Uh, let's do this. Are just armor items. Like, So I want, I want to test... Um, uh, what's it called? The... Iceborne Gauntlet this game, but it's not good to rush into Bazaar since he's AP. Also can't rush Sunfire Cape since he's AP, which leaves either Titanic Hydra or um, the stacking HP atom, whatever it's called, Heart Steel. <coughs> the build, and I don't want to do Heart Steel. We could obviously build an AP component as well, but those suck early on. Yeah, I'm getting so thank you from these though. Worth a shot. Let's go place a ward. Look at my CS per minute. It's crazy right now. I don't get CS from those things, do I? Like actual score. Unless that didn't actually kill that thing, then no, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't. So my CS is just really good right now then. <laughs> I gotta be careful with taking aggro on their turret there. <sighs> nice, we just cost him... 3 farm, 2 farm there? By betting the W on me, or the E on me. Oh, was that Elisa? Thank god somebody pinged that, because I was not paying attention. I don't quite have ult yet, so would not be a good death. Or uh, an easy escape, at least. And anyway, the Titanic Hydra will also be really good at harassing Melza Heart through the wave as well. Oh, hello. Is that guy low? I don't know. I think he might be on the Herald. No, he's not. Okay. Well, crap, I just gave up some farm for nothing. Oh, this guy's still here. Ah, I missed.
Come on. You should die here. Yeah, he's dead. Wait, I can hit the turret. There we go. Hmm. I guess that's a decent wave state. I think the best thing to do, actually, ooh, you know what would have been genius is instead of aggroing, uh, like, killing the wave, I had the aggro already, so I drag it out, so my wave goes under turret. And that leads to a full wave, like, he just misses out on the entire wave and I get all of it. That would be so sick, actually, if I'd done that. It's not really a good wave state, actually, but could be worse, I guess. I was hoping some of these would go under turret. Yeah, I think if, if I think if you're facing AP in lane, your only real options to rush are either still go Sunfire Cape anyway, which feels a bit lame, or rush Heartsteel or Titanic Hydra because you don't want to brush in a Mark component. They're just not good. You can build some of Mar, I guess. You can build like Mark Treads maybe. Where's Malzahar? You should be here. Hello, buddy. Let's get that grass proc. We know Lee's in his bot side, so... Not afraid of him. Be good. Nice one. Um, yeah, I'm probably dead here. Question is, actually, I could have ulted out. I just realized that was up. <laughs> Maybe I still live though. I don't have Swifties though, so I'm not really that fast. Ah, and I, I can't even soak up a wave here. I could TP out, but I don't think that's a good use of TP, even if it works. Oh, hello. Now, this is the part where if I had a nice Lord Gauntlet, I could slow them to death. Yeah, dude, I actually could have got farmed for this death, except for the fact that the Herald was killing the minions. That's annoying. <laughs> oh, well. Definitely should have ulted out. Took me way too long to realize I had that up. Hmm, I wanted to know how long it was up for. Just too late to check. Okay, I've got TP though, so this is good. God, he's just dead. He's just dead. That's nice one. Missed out on some farm there, but I would say that's worth it. We just do a lot of damage right now with this build. Nope, my bad. Don't know if I actually beat him. I'm doing a lot of damage with the AV from Titanic Hydra there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, red buff is down. Can try and go for these. It's pretty nice to seal golems whenever you can. They give you a lot of HP. So at the moment we got 778 HP from our W passive. Okay, I got that. Just gained about 20 HP from that, and I didn't even get the full camp. Easy. Alright, he's got the Andrews now, so he's gonna be dealing a lot of damage with that. Still probably not enough to actually kill me, though. 
is not enough of a tank buster, Malzahar. It's already done like a thousand damage. Alright, since I have home guards, I don't really need to ult the top lane to avoid missing farm. Otherwise, I would say that's probably worth it. Well, I would have missed less farm, but it's satisfactory. Once yes missed, is no biggie. Nice. I managed to loss at that melee that escaped with the Thanicadra. Keep on pushing here. There's no need to group yet. I can exert a lot of pressure right now. Just checking if Mazakhar is there. That's fine. Oh, I'm trying to harass him with the Tethanicadra, but it's not working. <laughs> hmm. The range is actually not as high as I expected. Okay, we have 998 HP from W passive. We just gained about... Almost 50 HP. Kinda hard to actually push against this guy, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we just proxy. Leeson will be on the way soon, though. We can only do one wave. In fact, this is probably stupid, but there's only one way to find out for sure. Oh, did he just... He just killed the entire wave as well. What the hell? God damn it. I guess boxing doesn't work too well against them at this point. <clears throat> Actually, maybe the wave hadn't arrived yet. Anyway. What the hell, bro? Just leave me alone. <laughs> In base now, I've got a lot of gold. We'll spend it on... Iceborne. Don't really need the sheen. Actually, I'd rather push bot, come to think of it. We'd rather have our bot lane on top side, since they are, you know, two people as opposed to one, so they have more pressure. And they died. That's useless, okay. Um, damn it, I'm so tempted to ult onto this wave, I'm not sure it's worth it, though. If anything, I should have ulted sooner. That's ah, fine, I only missed, like, three, c three CS. Oh my god, my CS is over 10 CS per minute right now. The boss would be proud. <laughs> and I've got like over a thousand HP already from it. Although par partially that's also thanks to the Mozahar Void links. God bless you, Mozahar. Okay, so there's an Ash around. Okay, that's just a free turret. Where's their team? Here they are. Could already base for Iceborne. So getting Gromp here, for example, not nearly as worth as getting Golems. I won't bother wasting my HP on it or my time. Because it's only one, like it's one camp, but it's one monster compared to like eight monsters or something from the Golems. 
But I'll steal it like that, though. <laughs> oh, I only slowed him. He still dies, though, right? Yes, perfect timing. Ugh. I mean, this is not how you split push, Draven. You are supposed to leave your split pusher to split push. It's fine, I'll base. This guy is just running it down, though. Like, what? <laughs> this is so troll. Alright, now we can build some MR. If we want to. I think it's probably going to be more... Uh, um, useful, though, to build Thornmail, I think, for the healing from Ash. And even from the Lisa and Gore Drinker and his W. Or at least we could do Bramble Vest, at least. I think we'll do Bramble Vest into MR. Get some MR in there, at least, because at the moment we're quite squishy to that. By the way, I was I was even running armor wins in this matchup because I did not I could not figure out for the life of me who the hell was going top there. Closest I could figure was Lee Sin top and Diana jungle. Nope. Should have just gone HP, I guess. But Shut down. that Bolton wave is pushing. I can maybe TP there soon. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I can't place a ward while I'm here. How much damage does this do? I've always wanted to know. Oh, that wasn't too much. Well, and they were fighting as well. That was the perfect time to do this play. My team really needed to respond to that. That's why it was such a good TP. Because it would force them off of, uh... Being able to defend the Baron. Not that my team would have actually gone for Baron, but in theory. <laughs> we were perfectly coordinated. Okay, so I don't have ult, but I do have Ghost. I can escape really easily. Can get some damage here. Maybe even the whole turret? Oh, right, I've got Asparn. I can Q for damage. There we go. And we're good. We're not doing a whole lot of dying, are we? I like I'm letting Bells down in that respect. But what's the point if we're just winning lane anyway? Like, if, if Malzahar was actually, like, doing a much better job of harassing me, I would do it. But I'm never low, so there's no point in just fucking dying. Unless I'm gonna get a kill out of it. Hmm. Ideally, this would have been an MR component, actually, instead of this, but whatever. What can I build? Could do this. Oh, so actually, there's that thing that gives me movement speed. Force of nature. I think that should be good. Yeah, this. Oh, I should have just got this then. What the hell? I should go top. Actually, mm, no, nah, we can't just group, actually. We don't need to always split. We're also an amazing team fighter. <laughs> yeah, nice. Like, they're never gonna kill me with this amount of HP. I was gonna say split just because we have Baron buffs that we could put onto every lane, but... Nah, we can just group an end. Live and go for Ash here. Look at that slow. Just screwed. I've not even lost HP. I mean, thanks to Soraka a little, a little bit, but... Crazy. Alright, GG. Alright, gamers. We are back for another game of Silent the Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Sana against Tom Kench, and I was wondering when we would finally face our first actual top laner, because so far we faced Sana and Mazahar, and that just did not seem right to me. Nice, probably could have spaced that better, actually. Gonna have to take damage in return while popping the shield. 
Right, we start a W here since this guy doesn't have too much pressure on us. So we can just trade with shield, get some extra HP. Which we don't even really need to trade with the shield or like harass with the shield. We can also just use it for another auto attack poke, I guess. Terrible aim. <laughs> Should be a good trade though, I imagine. Since he's only level 1. Yeah, there we go. Two grass procs. He only got one. My last setting is terrible right now though. I gotta focus on the cannon here. <laughs> Can't risk going for the melee and then missing the cannon. What the hell? He could die here. Do we want to die them? There we go. Nice one. Let's get a light demolish there and we'll back off. Fully enough, that counts as 300 demolish damage even though they definitely got blocked. I could be getting ganked here by their jungler. Yeah. Wait. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Alright, the only thing to do here is to try and do as much damage as possible. Holy crap, that is a lot of damage. Wait, he's dead! He's almost dead! Fuck! So close, man. I'm sure if I played it absolutely perfectly, I would have had the kill there, but oh well. I suppose I can just walk into lane here. I don't think I need to TP. Oh, come on. Dude, you could win that. Maybe I should have TP'd into lane, goddamn. What? It's so insane he's afraid there. He actually does get the kill though. Nice. Leave the wave. Oh, okay. I guess that's okay. One for one. Definitely gonna be going for the Titanic Hydra Rush this game. <laughs> No, no, not the, not the Tenikadra. Um, Sunfire Cape. Into the Iceborne. I think this guy mostly does magic damage, doesn't he? But whatever. Shouldn't matter too much. I'll be too tanky for him either way, I hope. Sun mainly does better into AD tanks because the items he wants to build... Or AD champs, rather. Because the items he wants to build are just armor items anyway. Actually, I should not be trying to trade into this massive width. Okay, we've already killed one caster, so we don't use the materializer on these. I'll just pop W to remove that shot. What the hell? Wait, I'd have got grasp. There we go. Well, I just barely actually hit him with that. I wasn't expecting it. We can definitely dive again here. We'll hold Q for the dive. There we go. If we die here, it's okay. No. Yeah, I may as well get that plating. Or not the plating, but the demolish park at least. Oh, not bad. And this is pushing towards us once again, so still no need to use TP. What am I? Hopefully this melee stays, stays alive as long as possible to deal as, you know, just a ton of damage. <laughs> yeah, th th we're getting a lot of value out of this 30 HP melee, holy crap, I even get the last edit, it's crazy. Worth it. Oh, 
This is the most fun matchup we've had so far. I get to actively trade with my Grasp. Hmm. I mean, I can probably trade one for one here. I think I'll try it. Okay. Got him. <laughs> He'll miss a lot more farm from that than I will. Oh my god. Wait, look at the CS. What? That's not right. He should have way more than that. Huh. What the hell is going on there? Like, there's no way I've zoned him from, like, 40 farm. Oh, nice right. Did he not have smite up? I don't think he did. Oh, no. Okay, nice. I could have actually walked there, by the way, since I have TP. I could walk there. Participate in the fight and then TP back up. That would that would have been the best top lane macro, but I'm not a top laner, so. I don't know if I actually kill him here though. Yeah, I won't bother trying. I'll save my ultimate for a ah, better opportunity to maybe kill him. <laughs> I don't know how that hit me. No. I can trade one for one here, but I don't need to. <sighs> Might be the only choice now, though, if I want to kill him. Ow. Yeah, fuck it. It's worth it just to denial this farm, actually. Oh, wait. Damn it. Took too much damage from that. <laughs> Forgot I can get the aggro there. Oh, well. Still, the whiffs there is really good. A lot of these melees will just out of the turret. <clears throat> I guess we can go the Sheen. It's the highest value component we can get here since we can't get the full Ruby Crystal or the full Chain Vest. I'd rather spend 700 gold than 900 gold, you know? I could maybe just TP flank here, by the way. Um. Okay, I don't think it's going to be necessary. Cool. I've not used TP all game. Crazy. Oh, actually, I could have. Okay, we're going to do it. Oh, but he's going to turret dive. Okay. He, maybe he didn't notice me. <gasps> no. You're kidding me. Oh, that is so sad. I could have... If I just charged the Q enough, man. My bad. But yeah, he's just straight up didn't notice me, I guess. I know, Biggie. Uh, I suppose we could just lane swap. I really don't mind. The Drake is not for another 2 minutes 50 anyway. Let's get out of here. Probably lost too much HP there considering all I did was damage onto the support. <clears throat> Rel should really be going with Caitlyn. Wait, what? Oh, I might be dead here. Yeah. Let's hope we can do something with this. Oh. Not even a kill from that. That's sad. Alright, my bad. Uh, so Rel actually left though? Huh. Fair enough. I was actually expecting her to show up though. <laughs> like it was the wrong move for her, but it felt like she was committed to it. Alright, we can T- or not TP bot, but uh, ult bot so we don't miss too much farm. Maybe even Kalejil in the process if we're lucky. Just wait until we're actually in range of the turret. There we go. Oh, I should have made sure I wasn't going to crash into the turret there. Yep. 
Yeah, this is worth ghosting for. I'll wait until machine is ready before I activate W. Oh, my bad. Nice one. <laughs> yep, nice one. Easy. Hello worth. So now we're actually getting some deaths in. We still got really good farm. Maybe not the best farm I could have, but... Satisfactory. Stand near enough to the turret that we can proc this demolish. Nice one. Good trade. Not worth diving. Maybe when I've got E up though, I could kill her. I hit her. She's dead. She should not have been going aggressive, especially once she falls so low. Huge mistake. Should have been obvious to her that she was killable there. I kind of want a proxy farm, but... Oh. Oh, hello. Fuck. Okay, we're just gonna have to go for this. Yes. Maybe even for the kill, but nah. Actually, we can. Got him, let's go. Nice one, hello worth. Well played, Rel. She actually locked him down longer than I expected. It was good, I don't even mind. It doesn't have to say sorry, that was a good outcome for us. I got all the farm, Ezreal got almost done, and we traded one for one. That's what sounds all about, baby. Winning those one for one trades. Because I could be getting a ton of value from it while they don't. They don't get farm when they're dead. Um. What do we want to go for now? I can just go for a Titanic Hydra. What the hell? Sezro hates me. <laughs> uh oh. I'm gonna woke up for this. Uh, can maybe defend the red buff though? Or maybe defend the turret? Is that an AP virus? It goddamn is, I swear. Ah, didn't get it. God damn it. <laughs> God, how does that hit me through the minions, bro? Whatever, I get this turret. Yeah, he, he might not. Uh, there's no chance to catch him though, either way. Charfrost gives him too much movement speed. I'd rather try and go for Wolves of Throat. Hello. What the hell? What is your vision here? Hello. He doesn't have you now, he's dead. Come on. Nice one. Nearly got W. No, oh, she's still my wolf. Oh well. Should be able to kill him. Slow with the ice one, you see? Come on, there's no way. What? That's so crazy. But you see the value though, right? I don't think I probably would have been able to kill him if I didn't have ice there. You know, assuming he hadn't flashed. Frozen Mallet sound must have gone hard back in the day. I suppose the slow strength only increases with levels. Could actually try and engage mid. There's at least a bit one very vulnerable Varus. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> and I killed the Varus. Nice one. Called it. Oh my god, that Udyr damage. That was not even worth the damn, like, the time it took me to do that. Should've gone for Ezreal. I'm probably gonna die here, I'm not gonna lie. No way, <laughs> he delivered me right onto her. Ezreal is dead. Probably so am I, but... Come on. Okay, we did the damage before we died. Nice one. I'm gonna get some CS. Not bad. We wanted to full commit to the full, uh, to the, um, FK farm, not FK farm, uh, split push play style, by the way, we could do whole breaker at third item instead of Titanic Hydra. I think Titanic Hydra, though, is definitely better if you intend on grouping, which for the most part, I would say, like, if you're gonna be really fed, it's definitely worth it. Or if the enemy team isn't, like, super ahead, then it's worth it. But if, uh, the enemy team is, like, super ahead and you know you're not gonna win team fights, then it might be worth committing on the whole breaker. Um, let's do... Thorn mail. Or at least Bremble Vest. And maybe actually get some Amar, because this Varus could actually one-shot me when he gets items. But then again, I mean, he doesn't have items yet, so fuck it. We can maybe just ult mid again. See if Varus is up? Yep. Varus and Karma. Oh. Nice. Now Varus has no flash. <laughs> nice. She just tried to steal my cannon. <laughs> he didn't get the pop shield. Nice one. Oh, Bramble Vest is giving me aggro. It's fine. What? But what the fuck, bro? Oh, how does that not hit him? I was right inside of him. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna get him. Do I? Oh, I just barely got him. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck? Nice. Next up, throw some nature, I guess. Pressure bot. Doesn't matter the Baron is up. Not even can get that without me. Nice. 
If he jumps anywhere that isn't through the wall, then I can kill him. He jumped through the wall. Coward. Remember, I've got all to escape here if I need to. For me, is it? It's really not. Oh, can I kill this? Yeah. Now she's probably gonna die. Yep. <laughs> nice, right? Probably want to get out of here now, though. There we go. I'm a little bit dead here now, but... With any luck, I'll take somebody down with me. Maybe this Karma. Eh, I guess it'll just have to be the wave. Or we go for Nocturne, who just got way too close to me. And I get the full wave. And some damage onto Tom Kench. Not bad, not bad. Which elixir is best on Scion? Definitely the tanky one is the most common. Has the highest win rate as well, so it's probably going to be the best. Oh, actually, not necessarily though, because that's... going to be mixed in with data from the Lethality Sound build, which has a worse win rate in general. Doesn't say anything about the potential of the red the red elixir on tank Sion. But actually, on, on tank Sion, when I narrow the data down to that, it actually has a higher win rate, the red elixir. Could be that they build it more when fed, but I think it has potential. Alright, GG. That's a high death sound game for you. Good deaths. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Silent Diamond. Game we're playing Silent into Gwen. So this is actually, I looked this up um, before I started any of these games. And Gwen is actually the worst sound matchup, believe it or, believe it or not. Uh, he tends to struggle into AP, Mordekars is also really bad. And I'm guessing her damage blocking thingy. Oh, it's just out of the dash, okay. I'm guessing that uh, makes it really easy for her to avoid the sound cue alongside her dash, I guess. Mm, actually, she got two different ways of really easily avoiding my cue, huh? Yeah, okay, I kind of see why this is a bad matchup. That's fine. We'll try and work through it. Just gotta try and predict the dash then and not go for the knock up every time. Just cost it a little bit sooner. Damn.
<laughs> it's impossible, man. Goddamn. I didn't finish shoving this out as I should have, my bad. We might have to have a good death here. Not even close. There's no way. <laughs> what the hell? Also, I had this in the wrong slot. I can't cast that. Okay, could be worse. I think we'll do Titanic Hydro Rush again, maybe. Where is the thrill of carnage? Yeah, the fight would have been a lot less close if I could have actually used the Materializer to kill the minions. I actually don't have my one slot attached to anything, because I use uh, the Binding 1 for a Trinket. And I just never bothered to place anything else on this, so whenever I forget to switch any kind of active from item slot 1, I'm just gonna fuck until I remember to do it. <sighs> I missed it. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. We'll pop the ghost, maybe we get her here. Question is, is this worth it? Yes, because I don't even die. Awesome. You can get this plating. Wait, did I already dematerialize a lot? Did materialize a minion? I hope not. Ah, fuck yeah, I should have used one on the cannon. Oh well, it can't be that big a deal. Alright, that's fine. Hmm, do we go for Swifties next? I think we'll go for a pickaxe, see how that we get on with that. We'll buy one pink, I guess. I might want to TP top here just to try and hit the gun with it. Miss less farm in the process as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Try not to bump into this turret though. Ah, didn't hit her. Oh well. <laughs> her dash is so fast as well as the worst part, like it's so hard to react to. We can trade one for one here, I'm just gonna wait for our cooldowns. Wait, this might be a tr an issue. No, we're actually not gonna get her, fuck, my bad. Uh, what went wrong there exactly? Oh, I'll check in a sec. <clears throat> Alright, we'll need to TP at least. Right, I needed to insta Q. I couldn't charge it. Damn it, her hitting level 6 was so unfortunate as well, being able to slow me with the ult on top of getting more HP. Yeah, I was actually in, in a quite an awkward spot there, the tower block was really awkward there. Alright, no cannon for her. Just gonna shove Ace up. I could freeze, but I'd rather just go for another plating now. And maybe proxy farm after. Probably worth using W there actually. I got enough wave clear. We'll wait for her to walk up here and we'll just walk past her. 
Or I'll just walk up as the wave is approaching. I guess that's fine as well. Hopefully she's not here yet. Yeah. Alright, I want to disengage there. I guess a ward here is good. I can go for another plating soon. She's back. <laughs> Not for long. Remember, I've always got ult to escape here as well if I need to. Either escape into their base and waste a lot of their time. Or escape upwards. Nice one. Back to the wave. I don't have a shutdown. Nope. So I don't really care if I die. As long as I get farm in the process. <clears throat> When do I have Demolish up? Does this thing... Oh, oh, actually you can check the cooldown, that's perfect. I probably won't bother going up until I got my Demolish back up, because it's like a free plating each time. In the meantime, my CS are just doing damage to the turret, getting it lower for me. Hmm. I don't know if this is worth it. Like, uh, I actually might die here. Yeah, I'm dead to the turret. Fuck, hang on. But if we get this wave, should be okay. Perfect. Ooh, we just really didn't get the last one. That's alright. Did I? Oh, did I die to Gwen? I did. Damn. My bad. Wasn't quite the execute I wanted. Oh well. Uh, can go for this and this. We have TP up. No, we did, we did get the last yes in the end. Oh, bad e miss, my bad. An ally has been slain. Dead. Eventually. Come on. There we go. Nice one. Maybe we can get the full turret here. I don't know if she even has TP. Shouldn't matter anyway. I don't know if I can actually get this wave. Oh, there's our TP. Hopefully we can just escape by walking away. We got a lot of movement speed. Oh fuck. Okay, nice. I think I'm fine here. I got W still if I need the shield. Which I do. <laughs> she doesn't have flash, so. Ah, he doesn't actually have ult. Okay, hang on. I just get this assist just by letting a Momo kill her. That's fine. Nice one. I'm just going for another whiff. I may as well crash this, we'll make Gwen miss even more farm. And I can also just go for some turret damage too, I don't have a shutdown again still, so... Alright, that's fine. We'll base now. Am I gonna need to ult out of here? Yeah, I will. Oh well. 
<laughs> Would have preferred to use it to get into lane, but whatever. Shouldn't be important. Ooh, that was a close one. Nice. Never ended up using the pink. Well, oh crap. Hang on. Dude, I want to wait for a chain vest, but... Actually, I should have just done Sheen. Oh, well, too late now. Actually, Sheen should still be one of this matchup anyway, just because... What the fuck do I need armor against Gwen for? Oh, well. Yeah, look how convenient it would be to have ultimate here, though, to get into this lane and not miss this cannon, for example. The full wave, even. Shame that Poppy chose to just go for me instead of getting the farm. Uh, you know what? I didn't even miss that much. I did miss a cannon though, sucks. I think I'm just too ahead to lose fights to her. Yeah. Okay. She will live there. I think my demolish just kills this turret now. Yep, perfect. I am so massive right now, 10 CS per minute once again. This is so much easier to achieve than on ADC as well. Uh, actually, I'd rather go for the wolves, gives me more W stacks. Wolves are up, nice. I got TP if I need to be somewhere, but I'd rather not since I'm not full HP. Oh, we get both of these. I suppose charging Q is more DPS than just auto-attacking, right? Because it's a lot of damage. Can't risk going for the cannon on this HP. <laughs> For the raptors, there's gonna be a lot of actually. I can take all of these camps, uh, not the red buff, but golems as well. We'll wait for Gwent to shove that in. Okay, how much damage is our Tetanic? I think I just done by the way 186, could be more. This has done so much damage to champions, actually. What the hell? Wait, this item is not balanced. I feel like I should just split bot side now. Uh, for, first, I'll just go for the blue, though. It's up, which it seems to be. Seems to be available, too. Nobody else going for it. Nice. Does she have ult? Guess she didn't. She's dead. Demonic embrace a Momo. I'm just gonna walk over to the top, I wouldn't need to TP. They these guys have this turret without me anyway, so.
I don't need to pop W, man. <laughs> Swift goes crazy without it. But yeah, I'm getting... Well, I mean, to be fair, this uh, the total damage that I'm getting from Titanic Hydra isn't displayed in the, tool in the tooltip, since I'm getting a lot of AD from it. Gaining... I don't know. How much is it? 82 AD, which is so good for a tank item. That's crazy. Oh my god, how much healing does she get, actually? Got her. Nice one. Do we just get a turret? Yeah, I think I do. Nobody's defending. Where are they? Oh, that's a Valkas. Dude, I thought that was an Amumu or something. I was so confused. That's fine. It'll zone me from the inhib, but we did our job. Let's go for the wolves first. Oh, I can push that away. Good to know. That guy's going for Gromp. That's fine. Damn, they just saw me. Should have placed a ward, by the way, before I left. Um, we can finish this on Farkip now, I guess. And I'll go for Bramble Vest, which actually, come to think of it, is also even really good into Gwen. You see how inconvenient it is, though, that, like, a lot of the items that are... Oh, don't want to trick it. ADC habit. A lot of the items that are really good... Uh, for Sion against certain matchups, they're all fucking armor. Like, I want the anti-heal for the Gwen. What's the best anti-heal item? It's a fucking armor item. <laughs> It's so inconvenient. <laughs> oh, my bad missed that. Shut down. Now she slowed. <laughs> Seraph. <laughs> Still has one more ult charge. Oh, come on. Do I have a big shot down? I do, so I'd rather not hand it over, if I can avoid it. Got him. <clears throat> if I didn't have a big shot down there, I would find it totally worth to just die in that fight to clean up with passive. But since we do have a shot down, let's just try cleaning up without the passive. I'll have to leave here. <laughs> oh, I forgot this reduces damage too. I mean... I might have a red buff, but sure. Guess another one can't hurt. Hello. I'd rather not hand over my shutdown, otherwise I'd go for that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> He's having a shutdown. Nice. Wait, oh, oh, okay, I thought she died. It was somebody else's kill announcement that came up. crazy how easily you can get the full build on Sion without even having that many kills. On, AD on ADC, I am not usually approaching full build so fast at 22 minutes unless I'm popping off really hard. But you get so many towers and so much CS per minute, and so, uh, so much CS per minute on Sion in just any good game. It's crazy.
No, my bad. Oh, I still have that goddamn pesky ass shut down. Well, let's go. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, this is as deep as I can go, though. Okay, I should actually pressure bot while my team does Baron. Nice. Nice. Oh, they're not going. It's so annoying. I guess we can just group bot as a team, but it's not as efficient as doing Baron. <laughs> nice one. Oh, no, 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 no. I BM too hard. Should I ghost? I'll try it. That's fine, I'm fine now. <laughs> oh my god, I was so lucky there. <laughs> I just wanted to be by ignoring them while out of dominions. And I guess he right as more people arrived. I think actually best item I could go is probably gonna be War Mugs. Just go zero Omar. <coughs> Hey, now we're getting Baron. Should I have TP bot? Didn't expect it, just only get a lint. Could have easily killed Poppy at least, for sure. But I think I just get this while ignoring everyone. Nice. Copy that. God, that's so much damage to the turret. Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Silent the Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Sun and the Riven. Which I imagine should be a difficult one I guess again, at least early. Because if also she has a similar ability as Gwen to just dash out of the queue every time. But if they release their itemization against her will be very strong. So we'll see. Hello. Hmm. Okay, we at least live. Unideal, my bad. Didn't respect the all-in. We could actually look to die here, maybe actually, come to think of it. See, I'd rather bait her a flash. I'm okay with dying so long as she flashes for it. Hey, is she just dead as well? Execute though. Mm. Unideal. Uh, the Swift State is really bad for her though. Won't even push it. It's really good for me right now. We'll get Cloth Armor to begin with. Oh, I got a level W for CS, my bad. Yeah, it really sucks I didn't get an assist there, but, or, you know, any a kill, my bad. Should have been able to get something there. 
We're gonna be at least up in XP for what it's worth. Actually, I should have dematerialized the cannon just in case it goes under turret. Ooh, Riven. Wow. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting a solo co there, but I'll take it. XP lead, baby. Level 4 versus level 3. Told you the wave still was amazing for me. Alright, she won't be able to get into lane before I can crash this. This is really nice. Cannon wave is not really a cannon wave. Thanks to my dematerializer. Alright, the one thing I can't do though is go for a plating. I'm too low, and on top of that, even if I did have time, red is protection. Ah, oh, damn it, so close to that. This will go for Swifties. Sunfire Cape Rush should be good in this matchup. Hmm. They'll want to keep on running. She's just wasted a lot of her time there. That she could have spent trying to catch up in XP. I only missed two CS from my base. Oh, my bad. She still hasn't used a re. Okay, not a bad trade. She's still taking even more damage as well thanks to this CS. Oh, she had ignited. I forgot about that. She should be dead here though. Yep. Ooh, unless... Okay, damn, that sucks. Hmm, could have been better, my bad. I can't believe she- did she never use flash? Yeah, there's no- she must have not used flash all game. That's actually surprising. I did not think about that. My bad. Played it pretty well aside from forgetting she had no flash though. So I saved my E until right until she's about to kill me. So that way she's slowed right as I'm entering my passive and she has no escape. Except if she has flash. But what are the odds she has flash, right? Right? Alright, we can maybe proxy farm here. I see an angle. I'll go for the plating first. Oh, come on. God damn it, bro. Ah, oh, now I missed out on the plating. That's so annoying. And I'm too late to proxy farm as well. Fuck, man. It's barely stuck in front of the wave there. Hello. I won't be able to clear that. I could have been placed a little better, actually. Oops. Yeah. Even when she doesn't actually manage to block the damage, it's still so annoying. Or I'd rather dodge the damage, because she still blocks it. Oh, she activated ult. I didn't even notice that. Whoops. Fine, we can just... Mm. Actually, I can just go for it, I think. I should have ulted, maybe. I don't actually have the wave card to do what I want to do here. Okay, we got one. Yeah, that wasn't worth it, actually. My bad, that was not a good death. I needed a mini wave, actually, with me, so I wouldn't have to be tanking the wave there. That was pretty poorly timed. Ah, oh, man, I just never have enough gold for this. Alright, we're gonna want to ult into lane so we don't miss this next wave. <clears throat> we can give up one CS just to cancel our base. Oh, wow, that was a long-ass jump. Anyway, now we can maybe go to plating and proxy farm.
Okay, so she's not really willing to spend her gold at the moment. This is the longest I've ever delayed Bami Cinder while technically trying to rush it, by the way. Yeah, it's straight up even more annoying than the Gwen. Although it's skill better against her than against the Gwen, but sheesh. Ah, this is not nearly as good without Bami's, actually. We'll want to get that very soon. Anyway, we know they're all bot side, so... She takes a lot more damage for tanking waves than I do. You know she has no TP as well, so no reliable way to get back into lane. When she decides to base. She's gonna have to drop a wave at some point. Probably already based, yep. So we can go for probably two plantings now. So we're down in kills for sure, but on the other hand, look at the farm difference. We just made up for the, or we're about to make up for the plating difference. Or, do I get this one? Oh god, I didn't get it. That sucks. I'm gonna pop the ghost, play it safe here. Oh, it's top side at the worst moment. I just get double knocked up here. Okay, we'll try and get this wave. No bombies is so awkward. Yeah, it means that I have to do three autos in each caster instead of just one. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll just straight up rush this. Oh, dude, there was a second there that I couldn't activate TP because it was, uh... It was transforming into Unleashed TP. I was like, what? Why couldn't I activate it? Ah, damn it. Yeah, at least we get that. Nice one. Still need to clear that at some point. One planning. God damn bombies. But I'm still taking aggro. God, I'm so bad at that. Fuck. Hmm. I've executed this really badly, actually. Should have been able to escape. I might still be able to. Yeah. Can I get the wave, though? Probably not. Fucked that up. I needed to actually stay here, so I could <coughs> just ult up. Mm, I don't know how I could have dropped the aggro, though. Oh, well. We can soak up this wave. That'll give me fire cannon, or sun fire cape. Oh. Right, she can interrupt the Q and also burst me down. <laughs> well, I get the whole wave, though. Maybe a grass puck, too? Yeah. Sucks that we keep dropping waves, though. <coughs> Just kind of made up for the CS lead now. At least a little bit. And I don't even have enough for Sunfire Cape. Really mm. annoying. I think maybe I should have gone Tobbies here. That would have helped a lot. Bosco's Swifties every game, though. Setting a bad example for me. Alright. I think I just have to wait for Sunfire Cape, sadly. I don't think- does he win this? I think she has ult, right? Oh, Ken doesn't have- he doesn't have ult, he's fucked. I was thinking he would at least have ult. He would have won it if he had ult, and the dumb thing is, Ken, like, Roman did not know he had ult. He didn't have ult, sorry. And he just took the fight anyway, and he won- so basically she won that through dumb luck. Sucks. She's already got such a big lead, and on top of that, she just gets extremely lucky as well. Takes a complete coin flip, and wins. How is she back in lane so fast every time, bro? Oh my god, it takes me forever to even land that. I'm just dead again. Just do some damage before we die. Actually, we'll want to delay our death as well a little bit, so we can just make sure we get this wave. I'm just gonna focus around instead of the wave if she keeps fighting. 
Otherwise she'll just kill me before I can do much damage to the whiff. At least we do some damage to her. Alright, what do we want now? Yeah, we should do this, I guess. God damn, that sustain is crazy, actually. Like, it doesn't matter how much damage I deal to her when I die. <coughs> but the important thing to note here is that we're actually even in farm and more importantly than that like we're just gonna be like scaling for free pretty much like sure Riven is ahead more ahead than she should be L less ahead than you would think though considering I must not be giving much gold at the moment but I'm never gonna be useless at the very worst I'm just not gonna be as useful as Riven I should go Black Cleaver now. <laughs> it's actually unplayable, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. I can't escape from her and I can't catch her and I can't charge Q against her and if I do, she still blocks it or dodges it anyway. Holy crap. This is so much worse than the Gwen matchup. I don't know how... Like, Silence when Red against her is not bad, though. I don't know how that is. <clears throat> I, I can only assume it must be throughout scaling, but Riven doesn't even scale badly. Don't want to TP there? Maybe I'll want to TP here, if anything. Uh, nah. That looks too doomed. Kane does not vault. Definitely not worth TPing here just for 2CS, though. Can't even frog my cross, bro. Can't stop her taking that. <clears throat> She's not losing HP, man. <gasps> oh my god, maybe I should have rushed Bramble actually for her build. Okay, she's not there. Kane fighting Riven. And he's dead. Can push another wave here, even if it cost me my life. In fact, I could maybe potentially waste a lot of her time here. Or maybe not waste her time, she might not chase me here, but at the very least I can actually just get more farm out of this. She wants to kill me, it's gonna take her a while to get here and I'm gonna get the wave for it anyway. <laughs> she actually chases me. <laughs> get a little bit of turret damage there at least. <clears throat> Maybe TP bot, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I don't have ult though. The one thing we got going for us is that Riven doesn't have TP, so every she keeps going top to kill me over and over, but eventually if I dis if I find an opportunity to just TP bot, she won't be able to follow. You went a bit too early? We I could have charged my Q so much more there. I need to go Bramble Vest next, by the way, I forgot about that. <laughs> I think she's gonna kill me and also live. Yep. That is crazy. If he could've at least just let me charge my Q, man. Forced me to use it early. <clears throat> that blows. <laughs> Yikes. 
see. Yeah, she might 1v9. I didn't play perfect for sure, but this Kane is now given like three unnecessary deaths when he could have just ignored her. She hasn't done anything. Well, there was one death where it, it was in his jungle. I can't blame him too much for that one, but two deaths where he just chose to fight her and lost. This time it was 2v1. I wasn't even 100% sure she would win that, to be fair, but it's making her much more of an issue compared to all the kills she has on me, which don't give her much gold. But yeah, I mean, this matchup was surprisingly unplayable. I expected this to not be this bad. I don't know how you play this. Hmm. Like, at least we're still skilled, but it doesn't matter if our entire team is behind, unfortunately. Okay, we can get an objective bounty here. Still getting objectives, objectives themselves, though. Do I just keep pushing? I think I do. I can TP if I need to. Hmm. I'll go for another turret. Or at least damage. Oh, I don't have. Never mind, I don't have demolish. I'll get out of here. Might end up dying for nothing then, but I will. There's a ward here. I think I'm fine actually. They're not chasing after me. <laughs> they didn't expect me to push, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna play it safe and recall in the brush, actually. I think it's worth dying just for a wave at this point. Can get that wave later. <coughs> nice one. If she only knew. Alright, Bumble Vest will help a lot. Now, I can't obviously can't 1v1 her, but on the other hand, it'll definitely help a lot if she's focusing me in fights. Just to, um, like if we're grouped. Okay, nice. Don't have to TP there, we just get it. Well, we didn't get the Drake actually, but... We do win the fight. Bro, what are her cooldowns? They don't exist. Nah, I can't. Oh no. They need to stop fighting. <sighs> the key is to not fight near Riven's last known location, because then what happens after is quite obvious. Wait, what? I, I did not get that turret. <laughs> Oh no, I was meant to CC her on the turret. Oh well. No, there's no chance, we don't beat her. Yikes, holy crap. We just, if any, like, if, we, if anything, we can maybe win fights while grouped, because I'm going to be really tanky. But there's no point in me tanking when we don't have enough numbers to have the damage to kill Ribbon. That's the, uh, what keeps happening wrong here. Oh. Ah, I just can't kill her, unless! Let's go, nice one, huge. Not bad, not bad. Finally, nice one, Jin. <laughs> <laughs> what do we want next? Is it worth to finish Frozen Heart? Or I mean Thornmail. I got 40 extra armor. What if I do Frozen Heart though? That would be a lot of armor for the Riven. Their comp is mostly AD I guess. Oh, what is that Kaisa build? 
Yeah, let's try Frozen Heart. Yeah, I think Riven has had like one fight where she went mid. And the rest of the kills were all top. It's, it should have been extremely easy to avoid Riven actually impacting the map this game. It's only because people kept coming to her that she got so many kills aside from me. Oh, are they on Baron? We need to check that. Oh, no, she's just blindly fishing into Brandon winning. <laughs> she's level 18 now, holy crap. Uh, they're about to die. I think all I can do is push, I think. Might pull Riven towards me. Yeah, she's definitely gonna come, I'm just gonna leave. Okay, 352 armor. She's got a lot of shredding though. Does she have... Yeah, she has several discords now as well. She has three different forms of shredding. Uh, Eclipse, Black Cleaver, and also Cyril does. Still should help a lot. I got TP. <coughs> Oh, what? Oh, they got the Baron. My team can maybe do Drake. Is she actually gonna chase me down? Probably. Okay, no flash then at least. Oh, I'm not even gonna be able to kill these minions, am I? Yep, nope, cannon is too tanky and Riven just does... <laughs> it takes no damage. Constantly she sees me. <coughs> Damn. <clears throat> Think we finish Thorn Mill next. We need defend guys, guys. There, nobody else is pressing anywhere on the map. This doesn't make any sense. Holy crap! That turret did not have to go down. Now we have no tool of killing Riven on top lane because they need the turret to kill her. It's so crazy they just let that go for free. Wow, that blows. Anyway, our first lesson. I'm gonna start banning Riven. I've been banning Mordekaiser so far. But, uh, that surely cannot be a worse matchup than this. This was completely unplayable. I just can't fucking reach her. It's crazy. Will we just go for a Syndra then? Okay. Still in this. Holy crap, my bolt lane never left. They were willing to let the game end. God, we lost twin hips. It's gonna blow. Did we ever get the Drake? I think we did, right? Yeah, we did. Nice. If I get this red buff, I get it. I basically heal up the full. That'd be nice. Yeah, look at this HP regen now. 
I don't think hitting minions disables it. I just want to shove one more wave and then this. I've already got the thorn mailed, but also just want to make sure we push it out as far as possible so we can group. Oh no, I'm going to be here slightly late. Maybe we shouldn't have gone for it. Alright, they're just trying to end the air. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, GG. Fair enough. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Silent Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Silent into Mordekaiser. What do you know? First time, I don't ban Mordekaiser, just to ban Riven instead. Immediately face a Mordekaiser. Well, we at least will get to find out why it is such a bad matchup for, Mor for Sion this time. But with any luck, I mean, it should be more playable than the than the Riven matchup, right? Because, I mean, that was not remotely playable. <laughs> Can't see how this could be worse. Let's try and land a Q on him there. Wow, he's just making that very easy for us, huh? That's fine. I'd like to trade an auto if possible. Don't want to take too much meaning now, go for it though. Ow. But I want to trade an auto because I've got grasp and he doesn't. He could die here. Yeah, he just straight up died. The, tr the grasp auto charged right as I went for the auto. Damn. Well, that was easy. This is this is sound toughest matchup, really. This is harder than Riven. I mean, clearly not on the level one, but can't see how overall it's gonna be harder. I mean, to be fair, so um, <clears throat> in terms of like the difficulty to match up in particular, and not just the champions in general, it seems like they're about equally hard for Sion, and I think mostly for Sion, what happens with Mordekaiser is that Mordekaiser has actually I'll... Mm, no, I can base, I can base. So Mordekaiser has a lot of percentage HP damage in his passive, which can make him skill really well against Sion, but I don't think the lane is actually meant to be that hard in terms of actually winning lane, you know? Uh, can I wait for bombies? Yeah, I guess I will. I can just wait for it, t wait for it and TP in. Man, I wish he would actually push, though. I would miss less farm that way. I was hoping this wave state would be even better as well. But this wave didn't manage to go under turret. Oh well. Ross Potto. Okay. I was trying to slow him there for the auto. Ow, ow! Could be worse. <laughs> Let's just clear this wave. And go ahead and play some vision, maybe? Ooh, can I get to Yi, maybe? Nah, there's no chance. And he's just dead. Can you kill a caster with my dematerializer next? He seems to maybe be on his way. Yeah, he is here. This could be good, though. Kane on the way. Should be able to get the E. Perfect. One more Got him! Double kill! Let's go! So worth it. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I would have just popped the ghost and sprinted out of there immediately. If, um... Ah, oh, what do I go for? Let's go for Tobbies. If I hadn't seen that Kane was around, so I was like, you know what? Instead of running, let's just play to turn around eventually. Uh, what do I even want to rush here, though? I don't suppose I would want to actually rush. 
Stun Fire Cape into an, into an 80 matchup. You know what we could do though? We could Trout Triforce, which is absolutely busted right now on a whole bunch of champions. We could just do Triforce Rush. It might be decent on Sion as well. Don't know about this, buddy. Dude, what I hate about bombies though is just the inability to actually go for plantings when the enemy is in lane. There we go. What the hell is he doing? Okay, we disengage now, he's got the fully stacked Conqueror. He did get a good trade there, but... Didn't get the kill, which is what I think he would have hoped for there. Decent trade, but now I'm the one running out of mana. Should probably just look to base here. Ooh, Morikaze has Ignite, by the way. That's important to note. I hadn't noticed that the Ignite came from Morikaze earlier. Alright, I think we're gonna ult into lane here. Make sure I don't miss this farm, and maybe I get Sion, although I doubt it. I mean, Morikaze, rather. Yeah, now we just get the farm. He doesn't have TP, so... We can actually just drop in the lane. We're gonna find him recalling here. Yep. Place another ward. See you both side, we know we're not gonna get ganked right now. <coughs> Is Morikaze a base? Nope, he's still there. No way that reached. What? I was not expecting that to hit. When I get ult up, I might be able to kill him. Or King can show up here. That would also work. Oh. Well, that's okay. I hope King can escape the turret aggro. Yeah, he's not taking aggro right now. Ah, oh, but he's alive though. Nice. <laughs> well done. We can probably stick around for another whiff. Why is he trying to tax me? <laughs> Okay, I won't be able to get another Demolish off. Really should not go for the next wave. Actually, I probably could get it though, is the thing. Nah, whatever. Okay, so a bit awkward that we bought that cloth armor a bit early, but honestly, it doesn't even matter. Like, I wouldn't be able to afford Sheen right now anyway. And hopefully on my next base, I'll have Triforce either way. Oh, uh, should I TP there? No, I don't think so. There's a chance I would win it, but... Also very much a chance I would not. Yes, I mean, at least this Mordekaiser matchup might be bad, but at least it, like, it is much more skill-based for the Sion than the Riven matchup is, where I, I just don't see what, what you could possibly do to outplay that. 
all the upleats will seem in her favor there. <clears throat> I'll drink from your skull. What? Visible trade autos there, why not? I got Grasp. Missed. Oh, that didn't even reach him. Oh god, he just gained so much HP. Holy fuck. I forgot he gets that. Or did I even know? I'm not even sure I knew that. <gasps> I missed. Well, we know he has no flash. <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> I got Charfus now anyway. Happy to base here. By the way, the alternative to just rushing HP items, I realized, is you can act actually Jack Show is also a viable item on Sam. Maybe not as good as Hearthsteel or um, Iceborne Gauntlet, but it's at least viable. And that actually gives a Mar, so that could be an option against actual AP matchups. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, it gives me a lot of damage, this drop first, that's for sure. Not even just in terms of the spellblade passive, but uh, that was a lot of attacks and a lot of AD. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> it is what it is. We'll just go for the wave. And do some damage to Yi while we're at it. See, when Yi tries to stop us farming there, we hit him back and he loses like 80% of his HP. But when Riven tried to stop us from farming there, she would have so many CCs and so much burst that I could not, I could do no damage to her and no damage to the wave. That's after she's already killed me because that matchup was unplayable as well. It was, it's just unreal that the matchup could be possibly that bad. Oh, not blue trinket. I was forgetting about that. I think we do Titanic Hydra third here for a, a, like a whole lot more of AD that we can use to make use of our 35% attack speed from Triforce. This for the record is only viable and I assume it probably is viable even though there's not much data on it. It's just, it, just because Triforce is busted in general. It's a really strong item right now. Nope, I'm just gonna push top. I don't know if I want to ult there though, considering they all just disappeared the moment I said I was gonna push top. I was fully intending to just ult here. It's fine, we kill a turret plenty fast even without using ult. Okay, we found Yi again. Maybe we get another kill on Mordekaiser here? Oh, what the hell? Oh, my bad. That was a bad aim. I think we might need to ult out of here. Let's do it. Hmm, yeah, so you, you can sort of see why this is a sound counterpick matchup. He is... 
ri ridiculously behind. And he still actually has a chance of winning fights somehow. I keep doing blue trinket out of habit, it's so crazy. Anyway, we got the 600 gold from the turret there. We can do Gromp and Scuttle Crab, I guess, on the way to lane. You're kidding me. <laughs> Fuck. I played by Scuttle Crab. Oh, yeah, the same idea. Do I gain HP from this? I do. Nice. Just gain 4 HP. Where's Mordekaiser going? He's not grouping, is he? There he is. Why are you not losing harder? <laughs> nice. I think I managed to get him not to park a shield there. Oh god, the Bork might actually kill me there. No, we're good. Nice one. Figured that was worth the risk of using Ghost. There's no way I get there red, right? But I may as well try. Yeah, okay. It was just worth it to see if Yi would maybe go for another top lane wave or something. Can you get that any fruit? But no point, I want a base anyway. Or do I? Yeah, I do. As much as I would love to stay for Hydra, 500 gold is a lot to farm. I'd like to go bot now if possible. She can farm that wave and then just go mid. Imagine Vayne also being very annoying for San. Pop the shield in advance for damage. Oh man. Okay, she's dead. Fucked up an auto, but all good. I might die here though. Wait, I can't see her. Ah, god damn it. Should die here though. Maybe. Wait, is he still? Oh, he's still going. Oh my god. No! Okay, we got Nami. Fuck, we should have done so much better there. My bad. I think I ignored you for too long. Let's get rain of flashes out there. Failed to cue her somehow. Did she just... Oh, she just dashed onto another minion, so I had no chance then. Um, yeah, I think I just ignored you for too long. Um, I don't know if it was even really possible to get onto him, actually. Let me see. I don't know how he even entered the fight. I think he just flashed on someone. I oh, just queued onto Samira. Mm, I don't know. Um, go for 
cloth armor, I guess, should be good against... Yeah, we'll do thorn mail, should be good against the Yi, and also against... Vayne. Even against... Uh, does it actually count for, like, Katarina ult? Because if Katarina ult applies on hit, surely it also... ...gets countered by thorn mail, right? I would hope so. Yeah, this one turret. My damage is definitely going to be very formidable. Formidable. Should have in this brush. He's just that. That's an 800 gold shutdown, just like that. Holy crap! That was insane damage. My God. That's another turret on. And I can do a really big chunk to this one as well with Demolish in a sec. There we go. Just wanted to make sure I got that off before we shove in the wave. Just in case I have to leave before I can actually get onto the turret after shoving the wave. We just get a turret and leave. Nice one. I <laughs> just got three turrets on bot lane. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. Ooh, what if we do this thing now? Oh, I can just sell coal for it. Let's do it. I'm gonna be so strong in 1v1. Fifty one armor and the mar. As well as a bunch of HP and a bunch of AD. Getting ninety five AD total from Titanic Hydra at the moment. Alright, I just wanna keep on pressuring bot while the main objective on the map is Baron. If they want Baron, they're gonna have to give up an inhib for it. <clears throat> nope. They're actually just coming for me. Fair enough, I respect that. Do I need the ghost? I don't think I need to. Oh, okay, I'll actually play it safe. Uh, it might, might be too late now. Ah, oh, fuck, I should've ulted. Oh well, my bad. Hmm. Okay, the, the response to that from my team should have been, just go do Baron. Dude, I did so much damage. <laughs> okay, that sucks I can just send that many people after me and my team loses the fight. Like what, this is basically a 2v4 on this side of the map. 2v4. Or 4v2. Oh my god, that is insane. How on earth am I gonna win this game if my team loses to 4v2? We'll do what we can. Yeah, my bad. I was thinking my ghost would probably be enough to just outrun Vayne. Maybe she also popped ghost though. Maybe that was what went wrong there. I don't think so though. She didn't feel that fast. I think it was just her key would just barely get her in range of me every time while I was outrunning her otherwise. If there's a boss in there, god damn it there is. That sucks. So much for if they want to get a Baron, they're going to have to lose an inhib. Um, there's no point trying to contest that, I don't think. Especially when I don't have ult. We're just not nearly as strong in the mid fights, and I've already committed to this thing now. Ult Breaker. <clears throat> Just 
give it, give it. God, he has J now as well. <laughs> Fuck, if I don't touch, I could just go straight for the inhib. Don't fight, don't fight. They're gonna die, they're gonna die. Okay, they got the EGA, that is something. Oh, hello. I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? Oh, I got blocked, my bad. Damn it, I couldn't see in the Mordecai's world. Damn. With Thornmail, I could actually have killed him there. Yeah, so I, I couldn't see in the Mordecai's world, so I couldn't see that they'd all based. Last time I last I knew, G was just fighting my team there. And I just lost his GA. <laughs> that was the last, last update I had. Yeah, no sign of Yi recalling, is there? He just goes out of vision, I guess. My bad, I had to, I actually could have seen that though that my team was disengaging and that that would mean the enemies could recall. Oh well. <clears throat> okay, my ult has no cooldown now. I can maybe try and go for a pick on Nami. It's a pick on nothing. Got him. Oh, are they pushing top? They are. God damn it. Oh, I didn't see them in time. I don't know if that was smart, but let's do it. Just focus you. Oh my god, it worked. That was fast. When I get Thorn I'm gonna be huge even for the Yi. Oh, hello. Got her. We just ult the Condemn and now she's fucked, I think. Yep, no chance. Just need a little bit of reaction time and it's unplayable for her. She needed to hold that until after my ult if I play that perfect. The main thing I think she needed to do to win that, I think, is just pop her Q to dodge my E. Once she got hit by E, I'm not sure there's a world where she survives if we both play a perfect. Why is Annie dead all the way over there, man? <laughs> Hello. Oh no, Morgana's about to die now. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Get Elixir of Wrath, actually. We'll do so much damage, some sustain will be nice. Got her. Don't want to go for the start first. Ooh. I'm gonna die here, I think. Unless- holy crap, my damage! Oh, okay. We did some damage at least. Damn it. Oh, come on. This Yi is actually this 1v4 all the time, bro. Okay. Nice. He's actually dead this time. But I think they're just done now. Is the thing. Ah, that sucks. There's no way this Yi should have been able to 1v4 every fight if my team was not playing it terribly. Ah, oh well. Maybe people spawn in time to defend. Maybe Morgana can do s Never mind. <laughs> yeah, she has no stopwatch, so that was the only thing that could have bothered some time. Okay, a bit of an unlucky game, but it happens. I think the build felt really good though, right? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Silent Diamond. 
this game we're going to be playing Sion into Orn. Seems like a little bit of a bad matchup, but unless just if it's just because Orn has a higher win rate in general, or if he somehow can't to Sion, but we'll find out, won't we? We're just going to start W because I can't imagine he has that much like that good early game pressure. So we can just, whatever he throws at us, we can just soak it up with a W shield. We can just start getting our W charged up. All right, really good trade there. Not that he did anything back to me. God damn, this is <laughs> ridiculous. One of the funniest matches I've played so far. Ow, that hurt. Okay, definitely losing out on the trade so far. We're gonna have to eventually end up dying here because we don't want to get zoned from farm. If I can just delay my death for a little bit. Ooh, didn't get, even get to rock my grasp there. Should I even. Ooh. Not, I'm not sure I should have actually pushed here. Okay, I actually got all of it. Perfect. Huge. Love that. Alright, what's a huge shame is that I'm going to have to TP. Yeah, the wave's just pushed. Hmm. It's not too bad, though. I might miss, like, two farm. Hopefully not more than that. Now he's sort of trapped in this lane. He has to base and TP back. He definitely should have based already. If I could trade one for one here, that would be hella worth. Did he ever flash? I don't remember. God damn it, that level up is annoying. Oh, I'm getting ganked now as well. Okay, now he has no flash. Just gonna have to go for the wave, I think. Okay, could be worse. Don't have enough gold for another ruby crystal, so we'll just walk into lane. With boots. <laughs> Alright. Again, Orange should have just based and TP'd, so I guess we're gonna eventually end up being able to freeze or potentially solo kill him. <coughs> this choice. Oh, this could be a solo kill actually. Yeah, he's dead. Perfect. He needed the base. The answer is still to freeze, though. What do I need to dematerialize? Casters and Siege. Okay. Where's his TP? If he doesn't TP into lane, he's being extremely greedy. He's going to lose an extreme amount of farm. There it is. I assume that was TP. Ow. Yeah, it does have a pretty strong early game. I can sort of see why he would be good against Sion. Just needs to be strong enough to sort of try and disrupt my farming process. And that's just going to mean I might have to die a lot in the lane just to get farmed through my passive. Next one needs to be Cannon. This should hopefully be a kill if I'm lucky. Come on. Got him. <laughs> no tens for a tank v tank matchup, man. Holy shit. What kind of a tank matchup is this? If I die for playing here, I think that's worth it. Come on, just let the minion go. Minion wave go under turret, please. <laughs> okay. Wait, holy shit, I'm doing no damage to this, what? Well, that blows. So 
Sun does 40% damage to structures within this form, but even the Demolish does 40%? Damn, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. Oh well. <clears throat> uh, what do we go for this game? We can just start off with the Swifties. Then probably... We could just do the Titanic Hydro build again. Okay, so we're 2 and 3, but really not bad. I mean, we're 20 CS up. This one has had very bad recall timings. First one just got bailed out by the Kane anyway, but... It's only done so much for him. Come on. Got her. Nice. Would have been annoyed if that did not result in a kill. Or actually, we could also do Jack Show this game. I imagine that would be good. Because it does percentage of HP damage, right? Which is good against Thorn. It's like the Leandri's version for tanks, you know? Wait, I meant ult there. Ah, okay, that's fine. This is a good trade for me. I should all hopefully also be able to get this plating. Yeah, perfect. Huge. Just barely got that with my final auto. Still haven't actually done much demolish damage. Like, it says 500, but it's not, right? Because that would be way more damage than this. It's just, uh, it doesn't count the 40% reduction from sound passive. Right, actually, yeah, both of the demolishes we've done were sound passive, so we've done more like 200. <clears throat> yeah, let's try Jack Show. Oh wait, no, this is based on my HP rather than the enemy's HP, isn't it? That's the, but my HP is a lot. Actually, that's probably even better than doing it based off of Orin's HP. That sounds even better, actually. Let's do that. It's like the item counters me, but passes on that counter onto the enemy, you know? In a really weird way of thinking about it. What? what? Oh, he can just cancel my, auto like, my Q like that. I didn't realize. There we go. Not this time, bub. Do we finally get our first real demolish? I think we do. Ow. No! I'm dead. Question is, do I also kill Lorne in the process? Okay. We don't. <laughs> God, we can get so much from even, like, under turret, even while taking aggro. That's so crazy. Okay, that costs Orn his flash, at least, and I didn't have a shutdown, so I'm not really that bothered. <clears throat> Do I want to TP here? Yeah, I think TPing is an option just to start pushing this turret earlier, and then maybe we can just proxy farm. What the hell is he still doing here? Just recall and TP, bro. Demolishes up. Ooh, almost cancelled him. That's fine, though. If I farm this entire wave, then I got my coal. 
That's fine. I want to try and waste as much time here as possible. And hopefully also get this. Perfect. Actually, he can just... Ah, yeah, he can do that. We'll pop Ghost. I should be fine anyway. Okay, we wasted time and killed him. Perfect. Ah, he can do that. Ah, god, that's a lot of damage still. And we got a double. I shouldn't have hit the minions, actually. Yeah, whatever. Kha'Zix can just finish the rest of it. That's fine, actually. Alright, we'll start off on Farka. Fire... Uh, why do I keep... It's, it's just like they go, both got fire in their name, man. Not Farka, then. We'll build Sunfire Cape here, since most of the cops that for Morn is actually... AD. And then we can do... Oh, don't touch that with. Do not touch that with. Oh, he's dragging it. It might be fine. Yeah, and then we can do Titanic Hydra. Or not. I mean, you can also just build full tank. Titanic Hydra is not core. It might be core on a full build, but definitely not on um, a three atom core. <clears throat> Yeah, there's some damage there at least, I think. Okay. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous 1v1 of all time. Come on! Got it. Got him! <laughs> oh my god, these fights take so long, bro. Alright, how much damage does my Jack Show do there? Alright, it drained health. Does it not... Wait, does it not do damage? No, it does do damage. It... But it also heals. Alright, this just doesn't say the damage. That's weird. I'm gonna assume it did a lot, though. I'm not doing much steroid damage. <laughs> That's just space. Hello. No way. I was expecting to have to clean her up in passive potentially, but I just straight up killed her. That's so crazy. How much HP did I start with? Eight and six. Look, six deaths, but these deaths do not count as deaths because I keep getting stronger during the deaths. A big part of this game is like, when you die, you are missing out on golden XP, but for Sion, that is not the case. I'm not getting any weaker any time I die. That is why, it, it, as far as the enemies are concerned, I just have 8 kills. I may as well be 8 and 0. Um, yeah, we can do Tatanga Hydra now. Uh, yeah, nah, let's just do time out. It's the most fun thing. <laughs> I could just group now. Oof. Gonna get hooked, I think. Oh, maybe not. I probably missed this blitz crank, didn't I? We're actually getting stomped here. I need to run. I do have a big shutdown now, so I don't want to hand it over if possible. I'm so tanky with this build, actually. Oh my god, it's drained so much health now. What? <laughs> Jesus. I think that was my health drain again. We get 20 ability haste from this. This is really nice. Yeah. 
I can just ult up. Way better than TPing. Because it has a much lower cooldown. Please don't farm this next wave. Like, this is part of the benefit of me going top is that I get the next wave as well, bro. Like, she's just refi like she just sabotaged her own farm to sabotage my farm, you know? Like she could have she could have taken farm anywhere on the map. But mid she's defending and top she's not, and she went to go top just so I wouldn't get farm. It's so weird. There's no point in that. People don't do it to troll, they just don't realize. Like, they, they get greedy and they think they have, like, every form of farm that they can get has to be competing with another teammate. They're like, oh, Sao could get this farm, but I could get it. I want I want this farm. I don't want the farm to go to Sao, I want it to go to me. And they don't consider they could just get farm somewhere else. But they could also defend. It's not always a competition. You don't have to steal farm from me to get farm for yourself. Now look at all top. Uh oh. Yo. Slow him, I think. No, I didn't. Fuck. Ah, fuck. I should have gone there. My bad. Terrible. Yeah, they killed Kane eventually. Nice one. Please don't have a boss. Oh, he has a boss gun there. Fuck it, I'm going for the farm. I think I got so used to the turret damage from the Trophos game that I just feel like I'm tickling turrets. Might as well stick around actually. Make sure I get this cannon. We just kite, play around our cooldowns. Ridiculous. They all seem to be bot sides, so... I don't really think I have the mana to kill him, but we can just... farm this and leave. <laughs> Wait, why am I going for Thornmill? I didn't think about that. What am I actually building here? I mean, Thornmill is fine, but I don't think it's necessary. We could also just do Frozen Heart instead. Yeah, that feels better. I don't really have any healing, is the thing. If he goes for another wave, I might be able to ult him. If I was him, I would go for another wave. Ah, see, he's just a bad player. I'm getting punished because he's bad. <laughs> oh, hello. This time we go on Kane. Oh. Well, pop goes for nothing. Or did I? I was just about to ult him! Okay, he's still dead. Holy crap. You think the support dog's on? I was on Kane as soon as I could. 
I'm gonna mute that guy. What was that girl for us? Oh fuck. Could try and ult them, but could, they could also get help, so I'd rather not. So I'm gonna be 1v3 in a sec when Jin comes back as well. <laughs> All good. So long as I'm not actually getting focused by a turret, I think I'm gonna win that. Nice one. Like, I'm still full HP, bro. This is unreal. Well, I guess we just end then. Hmm. Well, I really like that Jack Show build. Not bad. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Scion the Diamond. This game, we're going to be playing Scion into Nessus. I think we'll start off with Q if he gets close to this brush. Actually, he's going to have to walk up to Lasset anyway at some point. Boom. Nice. Really good start there. Okay, we're exerting some good early pressure. Just popped up you to block at least most of that. Gonna have to stand in the sand, uh, Nessus. You though, what the hell is he doing? Is the of so that's gonna it is. No, he's bot actually. He doesn't have flash. Then I think we just kill him here. And that's extremely worth it. Did I touch that wave? I don't think so. It's for the best that I don't. And that's more CS miss for him than for me. Extremely worth it. It's actually so much easier to execute those 1v1 trades when they don't have flash. It's so annoying when they do have flash because they can't guarantee the Q hit. Huh. 
They can also just try and flash away from your passive if you're relying on your passive. I think I just need to neutralize a melee. Yep. It's costing himself a lot of mana with those W costs, by the way. They don't do much to Scion. Ow. Alright, hopefully I didn't greed there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, no, I forgot he was about to stun me. My bad. Alright, we can go for the wave, I guess. But it's so sad when you don't have bombies. It's costing me so many autos. Okay, we got most of it. What is the point of that? Just to prevent my auto follow up? Nah, I don't want to trade one for one there. I missed that. No, I didn't. There we go, not even a one for one. I haven't got the plating with the ult damage. <laughs> now we get the actual demolish. Boom. Two platings. Sick. Yeah, this feels like a very bad matchup for Nasus <laughs> now that I see it in action. <laughs> There's not a whole lot he can do. I just outrange him too hard. And if he walks up to me to Q, it's just not smart. Um, what do we want to rush here? I guess Sunfire Cape will be fine. Actually, could I have waited? Nah. What the hell? Scanner trolling? Why would he be trolling, though? It was He was 0, zero and 4. What a random time to troll. Oh, he wants to commit hard, eh? <laughs> oh, so much for that. How long does that ult last, by the way? Pop the W again. Get out on cooldown ASAP. I was expecting to trade autos with him there. He might try and recall and TP back into lane here. Uh, should I go up there? I'll hop after this wave. Oh, Nasus is still here. What? Well, this should be free. Oh my god. 
Missed it. Oh, good. We still got it. <laughs> nice one. Alright, we should be able to get that now. I'll go top, get that plate and get another wave. In fact, we could even break over, open the top lane thread already. Well, maybe that's not such a good thing against Nasus. What do I think of it? Oh, god damn it. I don't have much mana. Alright. This feels like the least likely place to get my recall cancelled. <clears throat> hmm. Let's try Jack Show again. Worked well the first time, why not again? Or alternatively, actually, I feel like just a standard hard seal could be really good into him. Because I should be easily able to stack that up, I think. Holy crap, that animation, what the hell was that? That was really bad pathing from him. Oh, I may have bit enough more than I could chew here. Oh, I definitely have now. We slow him right before we die. Boom, got him. Cast of the coal, let's go, baby. Nice. Yeah, I think hard steel should be good here. God, look at Nessus's farm, man. Ooh, he's got the Divine Sundra now, and that's gonna be big against me. Huh, maybe it's... Is it too late to go into... Westburn Gauntlet now? Let's just go for it. Well, that was nowhere near a trade win for him. Oh, come on. Okay. We did a lot of damage to Nessus in the process too, but uh, I no longer have ult than he does. Skrunner could also be sticking around here for all we know. <coughs> Just play it ultra safe. Shut down. That was hoping they would give me two farm. Okay, now this uh, is out of mana now. Surely I can be alright here. Doesn't have mana for W. I think Skarner would be gone by now. He gets mana back now, that's so annoying. Oh well. I go hard steal, I can get it and then just uh, ult the top lane. Why the hell is there such a large gap here? Only cowards fear death. 
Will take me to perfectly, perfectly in the middle of the wave, but it will. If I get there in time to get the demolish, which should kill the turret. Yeah. Oh, still, baby. We lose this, we just need to disengage. Perfect. We wait for the ultimate timeout, it's about halfway through. Okay, nice. There we go. Nice one. By the way, I was thinking about doing Trail Force this game, except I realized eh, the attack speed is probably a little bit wasted on Tenesis. It just because of the fact that his wither will just completely gut my attack speed anyway, so with attack speed being such a huge part of the trap for us, probably not really worth it. I could alter, but then if she flashes, I probably can't escape before I die. I have a shutdown, so let's not risk it. Should be worth. Oh, sound T or uh, sorry, Nessus teeping too, I guess. Damn, didn't even hit Nessus there. I need to ult out of here, sadly. It is what it is. Ness Nessus, unfortunately, was just body blocking misfortune. Couldn't reach her. Biz? Nice. Damn. Oh yeah, I was also considering Tobby's against Nessus, I forgot about that. Just to reduce his Q damage. Bro, just let me auto her. I just want to fuck the heart steal. Ugh. I'd like to not base until Titanic Hydra, ideally. Three hundred sixty-six, more like one hundred and eighty, because I can sell coal. This wave should be good enough. No, I didn't expect that burst from W, my bad. Um, actually, screw it. Let's do some damage to this turret. Oh, hello, misfortune. That's not what I expected here. Okay, we have committed to dying at this point. <laughs> Hmm, close. <laughs> Why aren't they defending mid? I thought mid was where they would go. <laughs> huh. They went to the they went to the fucking turret that had nobody going aggressive. Not just not just misfortune, but also the Nessus. Everybody grouped on the turret that had nobody pressuring it. Weird. Oh well. Oh, 
Oh my god, that is a lot of damage from Defense Thunderer. Thank god I was, I was already hard stomping and when he completed that throw, that would have turned the matchup around. What is he doing now? No way. I assume that damage is pre-mitigation though, so it's not completely accurate. The healing is crazy though as well, because that is pre-mitigation. <laughs> We're not grouped for some reason, so we're just gonna have to leave it. Let's go! Our first trick of the game, even. You know what? I should've gone mid. I could've taken that in, Heb. By ulting in, I mean. Ooh. Notice that too late, I could've ulted in on those guys. Nice one. I can't reach her for the bonk. Bonk Nessus though. Oh fuck. I can get out of here. <laughs> No, this Cassiope is very strong. Ooh, Bramble Vest will be great here for the Nessus. Let's go, bot. Ooh, right where Nessus is. How many Q stacks does he have? It can't be much. 240 at 20 minutes. That is terrible. Goddamn. Poor guy. You can have at least. You should have at least 400 by 20 minutes as an SS. Only cowards fear death. If you're having an okay game. Okay, I want to test whether I beat him. Now that I got Bramble Vest, even during his ult. I think it's close enough. Yeah. It is so much harder than you'd think with how ahead I am, but purely because of the Bramble Vest, I can. Without Bramble Vest, I think it wouldn't even be close. Like, I'd still lose. Despite my lead. So, as a whole, I would actually say it's not worth it to duel him there. Uh, I would much rather just kite back, and so eventually when I... Like, eventually, um... I just wait out his ult, and then try and fight him again later on once he doesn't have ult. And then eventually when I do kill him... You know, it's a, you would think it's the same outcome, because either way he's dead, right? But the difference is I get to keep much more of my HP if I would just cut out his ult, compared to just dueling him in his ult. I'd like to get this for some healing. God, I'm so slow with it, though. Oh, man. Oh no, Nessa stole it. That sucks. Maybe I should have kept on pushing. I didn't quite realize my team was already on that. Do I have Demolish? In five seconds. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna be able to get it. Oh no. I just barely don't have ult in time. This blows. <laughs> Sheesh. Actually, do I want to get the full thorn mill, or do I guess something else? What else is good? Could get that, yeah. We haven't built it yet today. Gives a lot of resistances, though.
thing is, the Thornmill is already an instant completion, so that's one nice thing about it. And it's a way to do damage to Misfortune, who otherwise I've very much struggled to even reach, with, even with my Q. Yeah, let's do it. Oh man. Got her. It's a shame that it took me so long, though. Ooh, let's spunk the fizz. No! I got him. Ooh, except for that. No, the Nessus! Got him. Thank you, Fizz. Now we need to run from Nessus. <laughs> nice, I go go, so it's easy. Okay. Oh, no. Damn it. Okay, we get one. Huge bonk to the other. Ugh. Oh my god, her, her damage even while she's dead is crazy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it. I mean, I gotta admit, the, the damage from Hearthsteel is completely unrivaled. The crazy amount of damage in fights. I mean, um, at least in like a 5v5, it's unraveled. In a 1v1, it's a huge burst, but like on the Nessus, I'm pretty sure my Jack Show would be doing better. <clears throat> Plus, it would make me tank here, I think. With more resistances and more healing. Yeah, I think I'll just do Gargoyles next. It should be really good paired with Hearthsteel. All I need is resistances right now. Especially in team fights. If I die for this turret, I think that's worth it. Come on, don't so- Oh my god. Okay. Can't believe they just tanked the wave, man. Should I ult out of here? No, I think I'm good. No, that didn't knock her up! Damn it, I meant to knock her up there. Oh, I almost killed her with Titanic Hydra. <laughs> she, if she hadn't flashed, I would have killed her with Titanic Hydra. That would have been so sick. Oh well. Uh, oh my god, we're getting 135 AD from Titanic Hydra right now. With our 7,252 HP. When I've built Gargoyles, there's nobody that's going to be able to kill me. Holy crap, so much of that damage was her R. It's crazy. How much damage has Thorn Mill done? Not bad. It's definitely really good against Nessus. I don't know about Misfortune, though. Need 300 gold. Damn. Well, at least he's forced to run into Viego there. Come on. Nice one. Kind of wasted my TP in a sense, but well, because he might have just run there anyway. And now I got the gold, but now I want to try and pressure. Pain. 
We know she has no flash, so this time she's dead. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna take it to Blaskin the other way, but that works. Maybe I should have blocked that. Even on this HP. Pretty tanky. This still has this. I need to get out of here. W, W. Come up with them. Ah, oh, damn. Oh well. Easy call on Tazara at least. <laughs> GG. No way they come back from this now. Two and hips down. Uh oh. Oh, I never knew the heart seal passive is giving you 1% increased health. That is crazy good on San. How much HP is that? How much is 4% extra health in me? Don't even know. Anyway, I got 306 armor now, 139 MR, and it's even more when I'm actually taking damage. And I got the massive shield. There's no way I could possibly use up that entire shield, though. It becomes sort of inefficient at a certain point. Can I ult into there? I can try. Okay. At least I get to the fight early. I was hoping they would actually be in the pit, but... That was hella worth. <laughs> you pop ghost. Oh, I have a feeling Skarner is going to try and... Oh, they got a Blaskin. I need to get rid of that. Nice, easy. Ooh, nice try. No, if only I had ult. I'm gonna get out of here. Here, we'll kill. Okay, um... Damn. Ah, the gone Zyra. He's perma slowing me with this Rallies, bro. I can't slow. Oh my god. Got her. Bonk. My Dunheb is respawning. I can't believe this spotlight threat still isn't down, by the way. I've tried to get it so many times. Oh, I can't beat that guy when he's full HP and I'm not. Okay. No banshees now, at least. Wait, what? Wait, how does he get to kill that? Oh, did I not hit him? Don't think I did. Oh, good. Base, I've got TP to get back ASAP. Get some HP back. And buy Elixir. Can we finally get this turret? I'm gonna hit 10,000 HP if we don't end the one. Okay, they're pressuring mid, this is fine.
Oh, they want to get out of here. Did I manage to bait his ult there? I hope so. I was trying to time my ultimate so it would be it would uh, make me unstoppable exactly as Connor ulted. Depends whether he actually did or not, I couldn't tell. It would be hard to see if <laughs> I just block it. Hmm. <coughs> Please kill him. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Damn, so close. Damn, they have all three inhibs up now. <laughs> huh, maybe they can't come back from that. <laughs> now this is not the amount of stacks you should have had after laning phase. <laughs> No, we'll get him in tank here, fuck it. I want to be even bigger. Look at me, I'm huge. One more Drake and we have soul. I could try an ult misfortune there. I can't see her, but I'm gonna hope I blindly ult her here. Oh, she went top. Maybe we flank Skarner then. Hmm. Ult will be up soon. Break their will and Careful. Bad, bad, bad. Just trying to peel her. Alright, they're all dead. I only pop my Q here when Zara roots me. Because if I'm gonna be stood still anyway when I'm rooted, that may as well be when I stand still to charge Q. And she never ended up using it somehow. I swear the cooldown must have been up, but whatever. Alright, long ass game, but that's gonna be a GG. God bless, would have been annoying to lose this one. <laughs> We end with almost 10,000 HP. My god. GG. Alright gamers, we are back. Corner of the game of Sonic the Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Sonic the Tomp Kench once again. Starting W since I can just freely stack this. Tomp Kench won't pose much of a threat. allows me to also walk up for a free grass proc whenever it's up. It's gonna have to flash. Okay, there it is. Them. Not the minion I meant to push, push actually. Suppose I could just base here. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Wait, I could have killed him there. Not bad. No, oh, my grasp disappeared. Wait, oh, hang on. Oh no. I'm probably gonna die here. I mean, I'm obviously dead. I mean, I'm probably not gonna be able to kill him back is what I meant. <laughs> Shit, he leveled up, bro. What? Now I leveled up, but way too late. Alright, we TP back top. On the bright side, the swift stay should be pretty good for me now. Ah, oh, you lose the home guards if you TP.
Yeah, that sucked. I think um, me dragging it out was actually for the worst. I think if I had just immediately fought him to the death, I think that, I think that he leveled up like mid fight. So the sooner I went into my passive and killed him, the better. Also bought time for a Z to come up, which wasn't good. I was trying to buy time for my Q to come up. Also going to the burst of delay. I actually uh, also like I was also predicting his Q. So I, was, I, well, I ran into the burst, then ran to the right, then charged my Q, but he never used his Q. So there, it was a bit unlucky in a few different ways there. But on the other hand, we did just gain a pretty big CS lead from it all, so it's not a disaster. Where is he going? Woo! The juke. He might die here, maybe. I mean, he's got the shield, so maybe not. That's fine. Hmm, probably shouldn't take his Qs. It gives him too much sustain. Even if I manage to land the Q. Okay, we got it. We got the level 6. Oh, come on. I got minion blocked into that one. Damn it. Didn't burst him down in time. Okay, we should trade a 1 for 1 here, I hope, at least. Got him. Alright, perfect. And that should now push towards me, at least a little bit. Um, What are we doing this game? I think we either do Jack Show or Triforce Rush again. Damn, sure I'm gonna miss out on the cannon. Cannon could have been a bit more safely positioned there. Ron's cannon. Hey, how's this not better actually? I would have thought their turret would have killed more of my minions. Oh well. Oh, damn. Missed him. Let's see if he go bot side. Ow. Ooh, the minion block again, dude. Can't let the Q on me at least. And I missed the Q. We got him. <laughs> oh my god, what a tense fight. Such a stupid one as well. So much minion block influence there. Uh, probably missed this cannon. Yeah, my bad. I think I got minion blocked it into his W twice. His knock up twice, or maybe once it was his Q, but I remember. Some sort of minion block shenanigans, at least. Twice. Alright. That's all we can farm. Hello, Vigo. I think for now we can just go for Titanic Hydra, and then we'll make up our minds later. I swear I just saw a word. Could be wrong. Pop my W because I'm not full HP, so I'd rather not lose HP while charging Q. Why didn't I get all my HP back, actually? 
This is a lot. Like on ADC, fine. This is fine because you have sustain and you have a little HP. You have very little HP, so you can regenerate pretty fast. But on sound, this is a lot of HP to be missing. Like what the fuck? I'm straight up missing like 300 HP. It's gonna take me ages to regen that. Got him. One more plating. Might even just stay and keep on proxy farming. Let's do it. <laughs> Wait, I need to stay away from the turret, otherwise he can eat me into it, which I think is his plan. Oh. oh, I'm very much dead here. But I get all this farm anyways, it doesn't matter too much. Oh, I, if I just got those last two, that would have been great. Oh well. Didn't have a shutdown, did I? Oh, I did have a shutdown. Oh well, not a huge one. Fucking empty ping. Relentless pressure. Ah, didn't cancel it. Oh well. Need to start channeling it sooner. Before I saw him go into the thing. I was thinking he might, and I was thinking I might not have time, but don't know sign well enough to know that. Yeah, Viego is here again. We can use ult to escape whenever he shows up. Ah. Alright, actually, I could actually 1v2 here even. If I could focus Viego. Ah, fuck, my bad. Come on. Okay, we got him. We'll just go for the wave now, I guess. Damn it. Fucked up there. I, I was mistaking Tom Kench because they were standing right next to each other. Oh well. Oh, that I don't want Tom Kench is so awkward, man. I even had a grass proc, didn't I? Yep. I, oh, so much damage wasted on the Tom Kench there, blows, man. Eh, still, could have gone worse. Hmm, I'm actually very tempted to go Triforce. I think we'll do it. Second item even. Because we still don't really need much armor against the um, Kench. It's gonna be a while before I intend on interacting with Tristana. It's only Viego who I need armor for. Alright, so when I get in his range, I need to, inst in need to insta start channeling my Q. So I can cancel his knock up. Oh, not gonna happen this time though. Yeah, Kha'Zix messed it up pretty bad. He needed to adjust for the... You know, account for the fact that... Tom Kench could... E away. Oh my god. Alright, we just block the Q. Oh, we don't block the Q apparently. 
Oh no, disaster. I mean, I couldn't do much there, man. I did what I could. Oh, my bad. Oh, god damn it. Bad spot to get caught in. I think we might just have to ult out here. Maybe not. Fuck. Can we get him? Ridiculous. <laughs> not bad, not bad. We just keep attracting their attention over and over and keep trading one for one. Love it. Alright, well now... We're gonna have movement speed on autos, so that's gonna be great. I think I probably could have released my Q sooner though, because I could have knocked up Viego as well. Look. As soon as I saw him channeling ult, I should have released my Q. Because he, he ulted onto my other side, didn't he? Yeah, then I didn't hit him with that. That's the one thing I could, the one thing I could have done better. At least that I can think of. Oh, not bad. Oh. The cannon! He took me away from the cannon! Should be dead. Oh no, my kill. Oh well. Finally, we got this turret. No three people coming after me to stop me. Yeah. Need to hit that E. Why does she have runes? I respect it. But first, wait, first Adam, I do not respect that. Probably dead here, but. I mean, obviously I'm dead here, but let's see if we can do anything here. Got him. No way, we just got Yumi too. R Tristana? Oh, we almost got her too. Holy crap. Nice one. Let's fucking go. And now we are massive. I'm actually amazed just how much, how well this, like, DPS bruiser playstyle works on Scion. Maybe it's even viable without Treforce being OP. Break their will and their bones. Your team has destroyed a turret. Does he use E? Does not use E. I don't know why I might actually have to go defend top anyway. I could go bot. Yeah, fuck it. I can ult onto this Tristana. Wait, what? My ult didn't go off. What the hell? God damn it. I'm salty. I should have been able to get Tristana, before, but then she turned the corner. I cast ult as soon as I spawned, but it didn't do anything. Oh, minion I just see just crashed into the inhib. Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's back off now though. Ah, that's my ult and my TP. 
Hmm. Fine, I guess we'll fight. Ah, could have killed Stalin with W actually. Yeah, when you think about it, with this build, I'm kind of like a DPS-oriented bruiser, but with 4,000 HP. My cooldowns are somewhat low to proc the Fire Force with. At least the Q one, anyway. Yeah, we can sell this. Nice, we have two inhibs down. Just want to get to that wave faster. The faster we get there, the faster we pressure, and I've got a pretty low cooldown on this anyway. Well, relatively. Hello. Hello, Miss Fortune. You weren't meant to group with me. I'm a split pusher. But the more the merrier. Nice one. Alright, and that was all the time we had for today. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little bit different than usual, but it just felt like a change. Let me know if you want to see more of the series. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Later gamers.